Hello Fiona, can I explain any economic concepts? Professor Siegfried, can you explain the phenomena of economic decoupling? Well Fiona, economic decoupling relates to the reality today, that we are not creating enough jobs. The productivity growth and employment growth started to decouple in 2000. After decades of positive productivity and jobs growth. What is causing this decoupling? It cannot be explained purely by the impact of globalization, offshoring, tax and policy changes. The big driver of decoupling are technological advances and progress propelled by digital mobile devices, robots that are replacing less educated workers. For example, Kiva industrial robots are, replacing routine warehouse jobs. They have the ability to pick and pack products 24 hours a day with no downtime or sick days. Moore's Law will continue to be self-fulfilling prophecy with computers becoming drastically cheaper and more powerful over time. Digital labor will be become cheaper than human. Labor in both developing and developed nations. Second technologies will continue to advance in power, capacity and their ability to do even more advanced tasks. They can already drive cars in traffic, replicate human speech, and beat the best human chess players. Over the last two years digital progress has surprised many experts in technology. Computers are assisting in digital progress in the areas of advanced digital programming and big data analysis in solving complex problems. The implications for work will be profound. As quoted by venture capitalist Mark Anderson, the spread of computers and the Internet will put jobs into two categories. People who tell computers what to do and people who are told by computers what to do. Sadly, only one of these jobs will be well paid. To conclude the economic decoupling will continue as further advances in digital technologies will deliver lower prices improved quality and deliver expanded consumer choice and hopefully a better life. However, as technology races ahead it leaves some people behind. This will require a total rethink of our education system, reskilling workers and encouraging entrepreneurs to invent, invest and develop new products, services and industries. Thanks Professor, for explaining economic decoupling.